In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise, and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the book of the prophet Isaiah, the ninth and tenth chapters. And all the people will know, Ephraim and the inhabitants of Samaria, who say in pride and arrogance of heart, Bricks have fallen, but filled with dressed stones. Sycamores have been cut down. We will put cedars in their place. But the Lord raises the adversaries of Raisin against him and stirs up his enemies. Syrians on the east and the Philistines on the west devour Israel with his mouth. For all this, his anger is not turned away, and his hand stretched out still. People did not turn to him who struck them, nor inquire of the Lord of hosts. So the Lord cut off from Israel head and tail, palm branch and reed one day. The elder and honored man is the head, and the prophet who teaches lies is the tail. For those who guide this people have been leading them astray, and those who are guided by them are swallowed up. Therefore the Lord does not rejoice over their young, has no compassion on their fatherless and widows. For everyone is godless and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly. For all this his anger has not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. For wickedness burns like a fire, it consumes briars and thorns, kindles the thicket of the forest, and they roll upward in the column of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts the land is scorched, People are like fuel for the fire. No one spares another. They slice meat on the right, but are still hungry. And they devour on the left, but are not satisfied. Each devours the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh devours Ephraim, and Ephraim devours Manasseh. Together they are against Judah. For all this his anger has not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. Woe to those who decree inquitious decrees, and the writer who keep writing oppression, to turn aside needy from justice, and to rob the poor of my people of their right, that widows may be their spoil, and that they may make the fatherless their prey. What will you do on the day of punishment, in the ruin that will come from afar. To whom will you flee for help, and where will you leave your wealth? Nothing remains but to crouch among the prisoners, or fall among the slain. For all this his anger has not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord is found recorded in Genesis, the seventh chapter, beginning at the first verse. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you are righteous before me this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, male and his mate, pair of the animals that are not clean, male and his mate, and seven pairs of the birds of the heavens also, male and female to keep their offspring alive on the face of all the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living thing that I have made I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord is found recorded in the book of Proverbs, the 8th and ninth chapters. And now, O sons, listen to me. 
Blessed are those who keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting beside my doors. For whoever finds me finds life, obtains favor from the Lord. But he who fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her young women to call from the highest places in the town. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. Him who lacks sense, she says, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Leave your simple ways and live. Walk in the way of insight. Whoever corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he who reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer, or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man, he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the wisdom of the Holy One is insight. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years will be added to your life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A devotion from the writings of Mark for March 2nd, based on the text, 2 Corinthians 11, verses 19 and 20, which read, Ye suffer fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise. For ye suffer... If a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take of you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face. Paul delivers a masterly stroke when, with the same words, he praises and rebukes the Corinthians. His commendation of their patience is, in reality, reproof. He means to say, I have preached the gospel to you at my own expense and jeopardy. By my labor you have attained to its blessing. You have done nothing for me in return. I have been no tax upon you. Now upon my departure others come and captivate you, and seek honor and profit from my labor. They boast as though the accomplishments were all theirs. Of these you become the disciples and pupils. Their preaching you accept while mine becomes odious. My case is that of the bee, which labors to gather honey, and then comes, then come the idle drones and earthworms, and consume the sweet which they have not gathered. You can suffer these false prophets, though they be fools and teach you foolishness. In this you display wisdom and patience, but you do not suffer me who taught you true wisdom. You can permit them to make servants of you, to be your lords, and to order you to do their bidding. But I, who have made myself your servant, served you without profit to myself, that you might be lords and with Christ, must now be ignored and all my labors lost. You suffer yourselves to be devoured, for you abundantly bestow your property upon them. But I have never enjoyed aught of your rich of yours. All my service has been without recompense that ye might become rich in Christ. You suffer the false teachers to take from you beyond your consent, to exalt themselves above you, to esteem themselves better than you and me, and to exercise their arrogance over you. But you deal not so with me, who have sacrificed my own substance, have taken from others, that I might bring the gospel to you. They reproach you publicly, smite you in the face, put you to shame, and abuse you with insolent words. But my patience with you, my parental tenderness, is remembered no more. We confess together our common and saving faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day, when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings and life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.